Hey, peace, love, and light, Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I am Q, and I am here to do the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. I will all is bliss, all is well in your world. I wanted to uh, tap and tune in, see what's coming and going out, going on with the energies. I also want to let all newcomers come, kick your shoes off, relax, stay a while. This is going to be a vibe. This is going to be a nice little reading for anyone who may be new. I am Q. I am also a Scorpio and I'm clairaudient. So I listen to music and I incorporate those songs into the reading. This is a general reading. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, beloveds, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. For all of my returned soul tribe, soul family members, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. So this is going to be, as I said, the day they pray and pray on your downfall series. So we want to know who's looking at you with evil eyes, who's plotting and scheming and planning. For your demise, we're going to tap in. I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama. Yemenya, Mama Oya, Mama Oshun, Baba Alegua, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, and Baba Orula to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call also upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards and so it is so mode it be ashe 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 so i feel good with that shuffle i do shuffle off camera but i also like to shuffle on camera just so you can see the process before we get started beloveds i do want to um show you something that i mentioned in my former reading so beloveds remember i mentioned in my former reading that i found five feathers and I am one who likes to show and prove. So these are the five feathers that I found. And they're very tiny. And I don't want them to fly away because my AC is on. And I don't want it to blow away. But here is the very first feather that I found during my nature walk when I woke up at 555. And I spoke the words, I am going to find five feathers. And I absolutely did. So this was the first feather that I found. No sooner than those words came or escaped my lips, I looked down and in the grass there, this feather stood. So, or lied, or laid, however you say that. <laughs> so that was the first one. The second one I found was this one here. And as you can see, they're all from different species of birds, different types, different breeds. This was the second one I found. So this is very, very beautiful. And this is just one in many ways in which your angels, your guides will let you know that they're with you, that they are hearing your prayers. This was the, um, this is the, uh, what's this? The third feather that I found. See that? I don't know if you could really see it. So let me hold it like this. There we go. You can see that a lot better. This is the third one I found. And you see how tiny is it? These are just just amazing confirmations and synchronicities, um, just the ways that the universe communicates. And this one is the fourth one that I found. Can you see that? Isn't that just the most humbling thing, the most loving? And this is the most precious feather. <laughs> this is so cute. And this is the fifth one. Look at that. 
Some of you are also finding feathers, which is why I felt compelled to show you. So this is confirmation that you all are doing the right thing. You're on the right path. And, you know, the divine wants you to trust, trust the process, but also believe in yourselves. Know that you can get through whatever it is that you, some of you may be experiencing right now. So I felt compelled to show you that. I also wanted to show you um, something else that I found yesterday. I had pre-recorded your video, but then I mistakenly shut the video off in the middle of the, the whole build. And I was initially going to upload just two separate videos, but Spirit was like, nah, just... And plus that chirping was going on, so they have fixed my my detector i noticed a lot of complaints even after i pinned you know the the disclaimer that look i know what's going on in my house i live here <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm not 12 feet tall i can't reach my ceilings here unfortunately so i could not change the battery i had to just wait for maintenance to get around to working you know my my work order so it's done i'm starting afresh anew but the message that i found yesterday uh, it was in a purchase that I made. Um, this particular uh, vendor, what they do is they leave like little, um, it's almost like when you get fortune cookies, it'll leave like the little, you know, somewhat like a fortune um, within their products. And so the, the product that I received, uh, the numbers on it was 426, which breaks down to 12. And the message was you will encounter your soulmate so i feel for scorpios you all will be accounting a soulmate and i feel like because this is the they pray and pray on your downfall series someone's not going to be so happy about that they're going to be a little salty and um it's mostly because you're moving on with your life and mostly because you are unbothered and they're going to see you happy um and these are obviously people who did not appreciate you when they had you and now you know, they sing and they could have, should have, would have. So the song that's playing right now is we have Notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, Total, and Mary J. Blige. One more chance. This is the remix. So this person may want another chance, second chance. But I feel, Scorpios, you all have, um, you tried. You know, you tried to give this person, uh, look at that. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Mama Oshun. Beauty, love, attraction and you sexy things. So you all are very attractive right now, magnetically so. Like you have a lot of attention on you. People that you normally, you know, that normally was overlooking you is starting to notice you. But I feel like um, you definitely have some someone from your past that wants another chance. Uh, but I feel like you all are, you know, very much aware of who you are now. You may have given that past person chance after chance, and that's just something you're not interested in anymore uh, because, you know, this person has not matured. They're not emotionally mature, and it's not going to work for you. So on the bottom of the deck, we have treat yourself. You deserve it. Self-love is the best love. So many of you may be doing just that. Many of you could be purchasing new cars. You could be purchasing, you know, vacations for your upcoming solar returns. And um, you're just doing you right now. You're not being as, you know, as selfless with your time and energy. Um, you're being more selfish. I feel like in the past, a lot of you were very much um, self-sabotaging, self-sacrificing. Just give, give, give. And I feel, you know, whoever you were dealing with, they didn't appreciate it. They just took and they didn't reciprocate the gesture and, you know, make any deposits within to, you know, within the relationship or even in you. And so now that you've kind of detached your energy and focused more on your needs, your wants, your desires, on practicing healthy self-care, on focusing more on yourself, on your dreams, um, I feel like this is, you know, possibly like causing a little angst, a little anxiety, a little frustration in that past person, that former person. So this person is a little perturbed. They may see you as being someone selfish because you're caring for yourself. But as I said before, a lot of you were very attentive and nurturing um, to this former person and they did not appreciate it. And so now that you're caring on yourself, it's causing a lot of um, 
a lot of concern because they're so used to you giving to them. They're so used to you extending yourself and you're just not doing that anymore. So um, what we have here is mirror reflex. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. So I feel like that's what you all were doing in the past was you were doing shadow work with this person because they were your karmic. Um, I feel like this person was brought into your life to teach you how to balance that shadow and that that light and that dark aspects of yourself. Um, that's truly what that, you know, that journey is all about is is balancing because everything requires, um, you know, that yin yang effect. It's like ebbs and flows um, of life, you know, so you have to learn to balance the um, the darker aspects, that shadow aspect. So this person did come in to hold up a mirror uh, to you. Maybe, like I said in the past, you were very giving um, and you were giving to no limit. You know what I'm saying? You was just giving, giving, giving. And it was to your detriment, but to their betterment. And so I feel like when you started to put the stops on that, that's when you started to notice, like, I have to care for me first and foremost. I can't put other people, other things before I put my own needs and my own wants. And I feel like through you uh, having that assessment and doing that internal work and healing at a soul level, you realize there was a lot of imbalance. There was a lot of ideologies, belief systems, behaviors, habits that um, was triggered by this person. And so them triggering you led you to doing your soul work. So now it's time for you to treat yourself because the divine is saying all of your hard work is paying off. Um, they're noticing what you have been doing. They're noticing that you have been healing, that you have learned to love yourself. With Mama Oshun there, that shows that you have learned to love thyself. And when you learn to love thyself, you then begin to know thyself. So that's beautiful. So this person did come in as a mirror reflection of you. All right, so let's tap and tune in, Divine Spirit. So who is this uh, person praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, Spirit. So it says, pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. So there was a lot of signs. There was a lot of things that some of you may have missed. A lot of red flags I'm hearing. Um, and even, you know, when you were with this person, I feel like, you know, you were just trying to see the good in this person. You love this individual, so you may have just given them the benefit of the doubt. You trusted their word at face value. And I feel like once you started to notice some inconsistencies in the way that they were, you know, behaving or their actions not aligning with their words, I feel like that's when you really um, took a step back. Uh, and that's what brought you to the clarity and the illumination. I also feel that the divine is saying that, um, as I showed you earlier, uh, with all of the feathers that I have found on my nature walk, that you all need to pay closer attention. Um, some of you are missing some of the signs and synchronicities that the divine is uh, leaving for you on your path, on your day to day. So, you know, some of you may be looking into your phones when you should not have your phone out. If you're going to have your phone out when you're out in nature, it should be to press record, to, you know, channel in or to, to record a, a, a transmission of your experience in that moment. Or it should be to listen to meditation sounds while you're out in nature. But you definitely shouldn't be like surfing the web because being out in nature is communicate. You're, you're being communicated in so many different ways, communicated to in so many different ways, whether that be through the trees, the animal totems, the feathers that could be lying right there, but you're missing it because you're preoccupied with your phone. So the divine is telling you to pay close attention. Some of you are missing some signs, some synchronicities. So pay close attention because there's a lot of, um, there's some downloads, some transmissions um, that some of you all could possibly be missing. Okay, and that's just for some of you. So we have go deeper. It says you haven't, you haven't scratched the surface. So there's something, um, the, the, the divine, it seems like the divine is trying to get your attention. And some of you may be just like, looking at things from a very surface level, but 
I'm hearing the rabbit hole goes deeper. So there is something that's being communicated to you. And I'm hearing also via your dreams even. Maybe some of you are having dreams and you're not keeping dream journals, but you may need to do so. And so I feel like, um, and I also, with the song by Jeanne, it's called Vibe. So I feel like the divine is also telling you to pay attention to the vibration that people give off to their energy that they give off something's happening with someone and I'm hearing it's alarming um so let's tap in let me see what let me see what's coming in going out going out okay so look at this I don't fuck with you and this came out in the former reading so pay attention so someone that you don't fuck with or someone doesn't really fuck with you and it's because you are um, focusing more on yourself. The self right now is all that you're caring for. Of course, your children, of course, your family, your business, things like that. But right now you're being more attentive, more caring, more self-loving to you. And this is causing someone to be alarmed, to be frustrated. They're noticing that you're not fucking with them in the same way, manner, shape, form, or fashion that you did in the past. This is causing alarm. I feel like a lot of you, because you're grounded, you found balance, you're in spiritual alignment. This is bringing you to that grand epiphany that you have to set boundaries with certain people, especially those who took your kindness for granted and who abused your kindness. Um, so these people are noticing that you're standing firmly on your square, which means you're not budging. You're not giving them anything. You're not you're not falling for their their trick knology with the games, their antics. Um, they, some of them could be trying to conjure up ploys and plots and schemes to take you down or to get a reaction because no action is pretty much a powerful place to be. When you don't even pay attention, when you ig the ignorance, that's a very powerful position to be in. And I feel like that's where you all are with this standing your ground, grounded balance. So a lot of you are in a very protective bubble right now. You've detached from low vibrational energy. Divine is saying that someone that doesn't fuck with you may be coming in to cause distraction. And so the divine is also letting you know, like pay attention to the vibration, pay attention to the energy of people, speak energy in this instance, and also stand firmly on your ground. Don't budge, don't let anyone kind of trigger you, push your buttons. Your emotions, when you're in emotional, when you're in control of your emotions as a, a water sign, as a Scorpio, then that's a form of self-mastery. So you have to learn to um, stay grounded, balanced, aligned. Okay? So divine spirit of love and light. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? They're very mad. They're, they're, I'm hearing the word mad. They're mad that you're not fucking with them. They're mad that you have, um, that you have you know, detached and disconnect. See this? What did I say? Selfish, loving me. See that? It says selfish, loving me, myself, and I, and enjoying getting to know me better. That's what you all are doing. First, you have treat yourself, you deserve it. So this is all about self-love. And remember Oshun, when we first started to uh, pull the messages, Oshun was on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like something's telling me I cut the deck twice. And Oshun, that Oshun message was, was more than likely our message, the overall message. And Oshun is all about beauty, attraction, love of self. And that's what you all are doing right now, whether masculine or feminine. You're caring for yourself. You're taking care of your needs, your wants, your desires right now. Look at that. And we got Slum Village playing jealousy. So someone's very jealous of the fact that you're not giving them you know, their, your time, your attention. You're not giving them anything. You're not budging. We have redemption. And it says the sweetest joy. So you've redeemed yourself from a situation with a karmic. This person tried to tear you down. See that? It says she loves me. She loves me not. Um, and it says games mixed signal. So this person definitely was uh, an emotional manipulator. I feel like, you know, the she could be a he, switch the roles, it doesn't matter. Um, I also have um, another uh, card in my deck that says he loves me, he loves me not, because you know I have to have the yin-yang energy. Um, but, you know, even though this says she, it could be a he, switch the genders, 
switch the roles, make it apply. We're reading energy. Okay. Um, so there's definitely some jealousy, some envy here. This person is jealous of the fact that a life, I feel like a lot of you, um, you have overcome great obstacles. You have transformed, you have changed, you have evolved and you have manifested a lot of, a lot of new into your life after you got rid of this person. This is the heart of the mass, the, um, the reading right here that I don't fuck with you. So you are making it known that you are not fucking with somebody. Like I said, whether that be through you setting a boundary through non-communication, through you not even giving them any of your time, your energy, your attention, you're focused on you, yourself, and you as you should. And it is a redemption. So the sweetest joy is when you can redeem yourself. This person may have done a lot to to hurt you. They could have broken your spirit, broken your heart. They could have betrayed your trust. They could have sabotaged the relationship through third party extramarital affairs. They could have stolen from you. They could have lied on you, defamed your character, tried to try to spew negativity and, and turn people against you. And I feel like all that they did is now being done to them. It's a case of karma dharma. What you put into the universe, people don't realize universal law says it's going to come back. It's just like your thoughts. When you're constantly ruminating over a thought, it's going to drive you crazy. You're going to manifest whatever it is you're concerned about. Just like when people who are always concerned about money, I don't have this, I don't have that. And they speak that lack. They have lack verbiage. Then all they do is they manifest lack in their life. Cars breaking down, losing jobs, having not enough money, bills pouring in, but not enough money coming in. So that's what you manifest. And I feel like with this person, the negativity that they put out into the universe, because you have the fiery wall of protection around you, because you're divinely protected, because your angels and guides do not play when it comes to you. Everything that they were sending to you is being returned to sender. So they're getting like they're being rained on by all of their own um negativity that they put out into the universe and this is the sweetest joy because your redemption song is your success your peace of mind your happiness your ability to sustain your independence your your ability to you know have these breakthroughs and this person is watching from the sidelines perturbed so now we have Nas playing war and so this person is wanting to bring war to you they tried to win the battle, but I feel like Scorpios, you won the war. So in those moments where they thought that they had some sort of victory over you by just abandoning you during some really difficult times or speaking ill of you or talking down to you or trying to play on your self-esteem, this person now is receiving all of that back and then some. It's, it's a part of karma. It is their karma. And um, we have on the bottom of the deck, I love how you love me, content. So some of you all, as I said earlier, especially with that Oshun, I feel like you're drawing um, a lot of attention to you. You're very magnetic. You're very um, attractive at this time. And remember that message that I received. And I want to show you because I like to show and prove. Okay, beloved. So here is, remember I was explaining to you that this is, this is uh, what I found in one of the products that I purchased and it says that you it says you will encounter one who could be your soulmate 426 so that 426 like I said that breaks down to 12 and 12 reduces to 3 so 3 is a vibration of not only manifestation but it's also the um, number of the divine feminine interrupt the empress energy so i feel like as i said a lot of you are very attractive you're very abundant you're very self-sufficient you're very much master manifestors so there is uh some level of attraction you're drawing someone to you and i feel like this other person that you used to deal about uh, or deal with excuse me is um a little mad about that they're mad that you got away because whatever they left you for whatever grass they thought was greener it absolutely was plastic and they got played 
They got played. They tried to play you. In fact, they did. They played the hell out of you for many years. I feel like a lot of you all were very loyal, very faithful to this person. As I said, gave this person the benefit of the doubt. So all those red flags that the divine may have been giving you, you know, you weren't initially picking up on those those downloads. You weren't initially seeing it because a lot of you were just blinded by love. You know, you were wearing rose colored glasses and this person was getting away with a lot until they couldn't anymore. But you all ended that cycle. And that's why you're now coming into a new phase and stage in your life where you are going to start meeting people who are going to appreciate you for being beautiful, for being following, for being intelligent, for being spiritual, for being giving, nurturing, loving, for being attentive. You know, you're going to find uh, other emotional, intelligent beings. So this is what we have here. Make your next move your best move. And this is clarifying the self-love. This is the treat yourself. You deserve it. So make your next move your best move. You know, like this is about doing for you. Somebody may come back still with the same song and dance, trying to get you to feel sorry for them, to have compassion for them. And you could have compassion. You could feel, you know, those feelings, but you don't have to always be so willing to give to this person. I feel like the divine is telling you to treat yourself, focus on yourself because whoever's coming in, they're trying to get you stuck in this cyclical ride, this repeating cycle. So you have to be very mindful of how you're moving, assess your moves, assess which directions you're going to go, plan, player, you know, plan, prepare and um, you know, strategize. Those are the things that you could do to assure that you have a lot of um, success in the outcome. So you are an alchemist. You are stars. I feel like others are noticing your star qualities. A lot of you are creative at this time. You're tapping into your creativity. You're transmuting the negativity. You're co-creating with source, with universe. You are creating the potions and elixirs to life. And I feel like there's something that you are working on and the divine may be giving you these downloads on how to refine it, on how to, you know, tweak it a little bit, how to make it a little better, how to, you know, make it more effective even. So I feel like with this, um, you know, I am an alchemist. I also feel like there's wish fulfillment coming in. I feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment coming in. Maybe someone is already amongst you, maybe a divine masculine, divine feminine, someone that's going to be your soulmate. They may already be amongst you. And with that number three, maybe within three days, maybe within three hours for some of you, maybe within three weeks, three months, maybe in the third month of 2022, you all will come into union with someone, maybe someone that's coming in, their solar return falls on the third day. Um, but whatever it is, I feel like the divine is telling you that there is some form of wish fulfillment and it is because you have healed. This alchemist is the star energy. So you have healed from a lot of the past traumas, the dramas, the pain, the anguish, all of the, you know, all of the um, disappointment, all of the betrayal, all of the cheating, the lying, the sneaking, the creeping, the gossip and all of the backstabbing, all of the liars who plotted and planned and schemed on your downfall. I feel like you started to pay attention and you started to, that's what helped you to heal because you had to go within you had to really ground yourselves you can't heal unless you ground yourself unless you center yourself unless you're in alignment and when you're in alignment when you're in that energy then you're able to like take those deep dives remember dive deeper um you haven't even scratched the surface so i feel a lot of you were just looking at things with your two eyes and it required you to open your first eye and you did that because now you're showing up as the star and that star means that as i said a lot of you are tapping into your magic into your ability to create and um you know it's because you started to pay attention so divine spirit thank you look at that it came right back out so this is what you have the divine is definitely sending in some sort of wish fulfillment and this person, as I said, I can't, it's just the messages is, are coming in as they're coming in. I feel like you have someone coming in that is going to be emotionally intelligent and want to invest in the same way that you wish to invest. You don't want to play games with grown ass men. You don't want to play games with grown ass women. If you are investing your time and energy and your love into a connection, into a partnership, then you accept for that 
you expect for that partnership to grow, to evolve, and to develop into something more real, more sustainable. You're not looking to play games. So I feel like you're manifesting. This is something you've been manifesting. And the divine is telling you, pay attention because your person it may, they may be amongst you already. They may be already in your energetic field space. I don't know if you may know this person already. Um, this could be someone that could be just an acquaintance, someone you may speak to in passing. This could be someone you already know, but maybe you lost contact. Maybe this person's watching you at a distance. I feel like there's going to be choices. There's going to be options. And the divine is telling you to make your next move, your best move, because they want you to treat yourself to what's best for you. Don't go back to something that's just, you know, familiar. Go back to what's best. I mean, go into something that's going to be exactly what you're deserving of because the divine is saying you deserve it so that means you have to know you deserve it you have to know that you're um <clears throat> that you are worthy of this so you have to know your self-worth you have to know your self-value we have right now big pun featuring fat joe um fire water so whoever you was with in the past fire you know is extinguished by water so that combination is not necessarily a good combination. However, fire can, um, you know, it can boil water. It can, it can trigger, it can, um, how do you say? It could change the temperature of the water, the Fahrenheit of the water. So it can boil the water. So someone that you used to deal with, um, this person knew how to trigger you, how to, to make you upset, to make you angry. And I feel like now you're not giving them that power. They had the power to kind of push your, your, your buttons. And remember I said the, uh, you know, self mastery with a water sign or a Scorpio is when they can, when they can, um, they can control their emotions when they're in control and they're not allowing others to push their buttons and trigger them. I feel like whoever this person is that's coming in, they're going to make you, I'm hearing um, Aaliyah hot like fire. Um, hot like fire. I'm going to take. Yeah. The boom, doom, doom. I, I don't know why that song, but this person going to make you hot like fire, meaning you're going to be like, ugh, you know, like, it's really going to be like hot and heavy, this, this connection. And this is something I feel you're, you're manifesting that you, you know, you're setting the intention. And as we see, it says you will encounter, um, one who will be your soulmate. So that's powerful. So someone that you, uh, was attempting to also have a happy house, happy spouse with is some, you know, someone that's on the, you're on the outs with that person. Also, I feel, um, that's what just came through. So for many of you, you're, you know, you're estranged from your husbands, your wives. Y'all are still married legally, but y'all are living in two separate homes, living two separate lives. You're not fucking with them because you've discovered they were betraying your trust. I feel like a lot of you are moving forward with um, divorce proceedings because you're, you know, paying attention to things that may have been happening within your um, your marriage for years. Um, you're you're learning new things that may have been happening within your marriages, within your connections, your relationships. So we have, I don't fuck with you. So this says mama bear. And then um, the mama bear, we already know that mama bear could be you, you, if you are a feminine Scorpio, you could be, this could be the mother or the father to you, the, the mother of your child for the masculines. And this could be for the, the feminines. This could be you. You know, you're not fucking with someone. Um, you're being very protective of your children, of your cubs, uh, because maybe someone was doing a lot of selfish things in the past, focusing on themselves, doing them, not really, um, not really trying to nurture the family dynamic, but nurturing their own needs, wants and desires. I feel like right now you're practicing healthy self-care. And you're super protective over your children, over your babies, um, over their mental, their physical, their emotional health. Um, but I feel like even for some of you, if this isn't a relationship or love ship dynamic, maybe a lot of you are estranged or have very, um, you have very, um, I'm hearing the word toxic. I was trying not to say toxic, but you may have a, a very toxic connection or relationship with your own mothers. Um, and so you may have had to, you know, block your own mothers out, cut them off. 
someone um, definitely misses you. They feel deeper than they let on. So they may do little things, you know, little antics just to get a reaction, as I said earlier, because this is the only way that they can have an encounter or have some sort of reaction because a lot of you are just standing firm on your square. You're not budging. And so someone may come around to try to, you know, oh, excuse me, try to pull your trigger. I think that... Um, we have um, Jenna Aiko and Nas, um, 10,000 hours. So I am feeling like, you know, someone dreams about you day and night, you know, someone, you know, and that 10 is sticking out. So this was someone you could have been with up to 10 years. This was a, a karmic relationship. This was a connection that, um, that you have completed a cycle. But the heart of the matter is, you know, this mama bear, you are not fucking with somebody because you've learned that this person was being very selfish, very self absorbed within very self absorbed within the relationship dynamic. Whether you all had children or not, they, they were their focus. All they cared about was their needs, wants and desires. You were not paying attention initially to the red flags and then you began to and you started to heal from that that form of person and you started to discover that you were the star you know this person also saw star quality in you and took it for granted didn't appreciate it they abused it this first this person does feel deeper we have kiss of life so this person and this is by Sade so this person definitely feels like you you made a house a home I feel like this person felt you know at home with you they felt like you I'm hearing the word invigorated. So they felt invigorated. They felt strong. They felt capable, powerful. They felt alive, loved. But they abused it. They took it for granted. This person doesn't show you these things, but they feel these things very deeply. And I feel like because this person is not being emotionally um, intelligent, you're not interested. You don't care about somebody thinking those things privately. It's like if you feel that, express that, show that with your actions. So they're, they're kind of like self, de you know, this is like self-deception also, you know. But we have spiritually guided, divinely protected here. So this is what you're doing. You're, you're spiritually guided to protect yourself, to love yourself, to care for yourself, to do for yourself. To not focus on someone who was being selfish in the past. This person absolutely, what did I say about choosing a third party, an option, another outside entity, thinking the grass was greener. They got played for Boo Boo the Fool and now they're noticing the rare gem that you are, the star. Because some of you have, you know, you're, you're, you're stunting on that ass. A lot of you, after the breakup, a lot of you done went and started to work on you. And you may have lost a lot of weight. You may have started to get into yoga. So you are, you know, now really health conscious. You're looking younger, more vibrant. You're revitalized. You know, a lot of you may have um, began eating right, become more health conscious. So you're vegan now or you're, you're eating more plant-based foods. Um, a lot of you are meditating regularly. You're just taking care of yourselves. You're practicing healthy self-care. You're getting massages regularly. You're doing salt baths and spiritual cleanses and you're vibrating, you're, you're glowing right now. And so that now that you're glowing and you're attracting not only this person back to you because now this like they're doubling back like, oh snap, is that, oh snap. You know what I'm saying? Like they starting to see you the same way others are seeing you, but you've always been you. It's just they didn't recognize you. They didn't recognize the beauty that was you until it was too late. Whereas others are seeing it just off the bat. But I feel like you're, you've been protected um, by your guides, as I said, with the spiritually guided, divinely protected. Your angels, your spirit team, your ancestors do not play about you. They absolutely protect you. There is like, I'm seeing this shield. It's almost like you're in a protective shield. And all of the negativity that was being thrown at you, whether by this person, whether by third parties, whether by negative people, envious people, jealous people, haters, family members that didn't understand you, it, you were protected from all of that. And not only were you protected, but you ignored it and focused on yourself. 
The star is alone. She's naked in traditional tarot, but she is working. She's being proactive. She's not sitting there crying, boo-hoo and self-loathing and sitting in a wallow and regret. No, she's being proactive because she knows that she has the ability to change her reality, to change his reality. And that's why you're now coming out. That's why you're having this redemption. The sweetest joy is to overcome what others doubted you could do. That's the sweetest joy. Success. Successfully overcoming all of the plots, all of the snares, all of the planning, the plotting, the scheming to take you down, to snuff you out, to overcome all of that and to be not only in a better position, but to be successful, to be happy, to be beautiful and to come out better than ever. And so someone who chose another option is definitely in the song, You're My Little Secret is playing by Escape. So this person definitely had a little secret on the side, which was a third party, four, party of four or five, whatever they was doing. The secret came to light. They thought the grass was going to be greener. They thought they was going to ride off into the sunset. The Knight of Wands thought he was going to ride off into the sunset with some other feminine energy or some other masculine energy. And unfortunately, the damn car broke down in the process. Not only did it break down, it had to you know it was being tried and tested by the divine because we already know like you attract what you are so they attracted a, a mirror reflection of themselves so it says you are unlike anyone i've ever met or dealt with so this person's getting the memo a little too late recognizing how rare you know and this person that they done left you for is giving them mixed signal and they're realizing that they were um absolutely getting played because there was a lot of games and trick knowledge. This person just wanted to perhaps take, you know, take your person from you. It was a game. So I see these three cards right underneath. She loves me. She loves me. Not games. Mixed signal. So with Judas, wear your protective jewelry and words of spells. There was absolutely an attempt to snuff you out, to destroy you. This person was a snake. A Judas is a snake. That's someone you cannot trust. They will look at you in your eyes and lie to your faith. Your fa I said your faith. Your face. And because a lot of you had such a profound and strong connection to your ancestors, they were telling you protect yourself. Not only were they telling you to protect yourself, they were protecting you. But this, there was a lot of evil. There was a lot of evil eyeing. There was a lot of gossiping. There was a lot of, um, of uh, spiritual tax, attacks coming your way. There was a lot of gossip and lies, words or spells. So people sitting around gossiping and lying. And it's like, how can you gossip about someone that you're not even fucking with, that you don't even communicate with regularly? So that means they're just making things up. So they're lying on your name. They're sending out these negative, low vibrational things into the ethers. And just as I said earlier, when you send those things out with no apparent reason, when there's no reason to be lying for, on somebody, and you're just doing it because you have disdain, you have malice, intent, oh, trust and believe, all that you throw out will return to sender. And so now this person is realizing that, that they got played. Because this person they was dealing with, she's giving them mixed signals or he's giving them mixed signals. So they, they thought they was going to ride off into the sunset with somebody new and be like deuces to you and, and, and have you all stuck <clears throat> in, in a, a situation that you couldn't get out of. Meanwhile, you, you, you turn to spirit, you turn to your ancestors and you leaned on your strength. Give me one moment. My throat is getting blocked. So with your my little secret playing by escape, this person thought they was going to escape this situation unscathed. You know, they thought they was going to escape this situation unscathed. They thought that this was going to be like the, the, the sweetest, you know, revenge. Because remember, <clears throat> excuse me, the war song was playing by Nas. So they tried to win the battle. You know, they tried to win the battle and they may have. They may have defeated the hell out of you in that battle. But you're ultimately winning the war. That's why this redemption, the sweetest joy card is here. And um, and it's because they didn't make a wise choice. This is because because they didn't listen to their intuition. And so we have kiss from a rose playing by seal. 
And then we have love thyself. What did I say? All of these cards are speaking to self-love, self-care. Mama Oshun showed up in the beginning of the reading. I should find that card because Mama Oshun showed up for a reason. And I feel like I did cut the deck. I'm not sure um, because I was so busy like channeling in on the energy. But I feel like that I did cut and that was the card on the bottom, which was supposed to be the um, overall energy. And so let me see. I'm going to find it and I'm going to put it here because I feel like Mama Oshun is very significant in this reading. And it's because there's a lot of messages speaking to the love of self, speaking to this attraction, speaking to the need to work on um, your needs, wants and desires. And I feel like that's exactly what you all are doing. And that's why you all are in such a. Uh, a beautiful place of happiness and joy and peace um, and it's because you put yourselves first so yeah see that this is what was you know on the bottom of the deck when I I do believe I did um, I did um, cut the deck I'm not sure but I feel like I did because I'm saying it <laughs> so with love that self that's exactly where you are so you can't get to loving that self until you heal that self. And the alchemist, the star, that's what that is. That's about grounding yourself, coming into alignment and, and, and balancing your emotions, getting rid of what no longer serves you while also healing, while also purging. You know, that's what you did. And kiss from a rose and rose is all about love, you know, and roses, some roses grow from, you know, out of concrete. So it, it shows your resilience, you know, your strength, your beauty. Someone definitely is, um, <clears throat> you guys are really in a space of loving yourself, loving you, caring for you, and doing so unapologetically. So divine spirit, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Divine spirit of love and light. See that protection? So you are divinely protected. And I also feel the divine is telling you to protect yourselves. So, you know, black tourmaline, Florida water, Palo Santo sage, singing bowls, candles. That's a way to, um, you know, to uh, balance out the energy, to get the uh, energy in a higher vibration within your home. This person was a, a, was a snake because we I just saw hidden in plain sight. And that's usually how snakes strike. They be sitting right there in the grass. You don't see them, but they're right there. And so this person bit you multiple times, you know, stabbed you in the back multiple times. So we'll get one more and then we're going to. Yeah. And they really had you in a very sad and depressed state, you know, and this was all done purposely, intentionally, because I feel like this person definitely benefited a lot um, by riding your coattail by you know playing a lot of manipulative games so we have here turn that frown upside down so there's happiness coming in for you all and i feel like that's what the divine is telling you to focus on you know kiss from a rose that's about loving yourself treating yourself taking care of yourself knowing your work self-love is the best love is what it says on this card also and so i feel like you know regardless of what happened in a form of connection a lot of you are starting to realize like you got to do for you now. And the way you treat yourself is how you're teaching others to treat you. So those who could be watching, those who could be potential secret admirers, because they're seeing you loving on yourself so much and that's drawing them to you. They know that when they come in, oh, they're going to have to match your fly. They're going to have to come in and they're going to have to be just as attentive. They're going to have to be emotionally intelligent. They're going to have to be communicative, honest, faithful, loyal. They're going to have to be God bodies. They're going to have to be spiritual, you know. And this is what the divine is saying. Make your next move your best move. And we got DMX rising power, beloved king. And it says stop being greedy. Yep. And so with pay attention, God is trying to tell you something. And I am an alchemist. Someone was very greedy. You know, someone was very greedy with your time and energy. Maybe you all were, you know, dealing with someone, like I said, who just really was selfish. They only wanted to deal with you because of maybe um, stability, security. Maybe you provided um, a lot for them. You was like their security blanket. You know, you had star qual 
quality. So this, the divine was telling you, like, this person was super greedy, you know. And they was, and DMX's, um, the DMX um, acronym is Dark Man X. So for some of you, that Dark Man X, that, this is that person's energy who was being greedy, you know. So that person was like the dark, the shadow aspects of yourself. And they came in just taking, you know, that's someone who does not reciprocate. They don't believe in reciprocating. I'm seeing the vision of the seven of swords. So I believe when I pull the cards, I won't, I won't be surprised if that seven of swords um, comes out in the reading. But this person was greedy and the divine was trying everything to show you what you was dealing with, who you was dealing with. Pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. That's like the red flags. That's like the divine, like showing you signs and synchronicities and you just like just into your phone or looking everywhere else except for where you're supposed to be looking. And even hidden in plain sight showed up. So that means that this person was right in front of your face the whole time, right under your nose. And you just never noticed because you were giving this person without really expecting or demanding anything back. So let's tap and tune in. Let's see what's, why is, uh, pay attention, God is trying to tell you something, and I am an alchemist here for Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. So we have two. So it says where your attention goes, energy flows. And so with that be creative card, I feel like that's what you, a lot of you did to start to heal, is you started to get into, you know, more of a creative space. You started to perhaps, you know, you started to be more creative. You started to follow like your passion. You know, you started to hone perhaps a, a skill, a gift. You turned some sort of hobby into perhaps a business. I feel like you created space between you and this person also. You're at a distance. You made sure to create a space, not only physically, physical space, distance, you know, but also energetically, also emotionally. And this could be someone that you could have planted roots, could have planted seeds with. You may have a child because I see this mama bear reference. It also could be papa bear. So this could be someone that you definitely had. Um, you share a seed. And you created this space and, you know, and so that you can focus more on you, focus more on your children, because this person was an energy vampire. I feel like this person, you know, initially. <clears throat> Where your attention goes, remember I said that your your energy, what you focus on, you know, what you focus on the most, it's like you're feeding that. So I feel like you was trying so hard to feed and nurture a connection. That's like pouring water into a vessel with holes on the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? So you still pouring and pouring and pouring and it's never going to fill. It's never that cup is never going to be filled because of the holes. So that's what the divine is trying to show you. Until you started to balance yourselves, till you started, still until you started to do introspective work and to question your, you, you know, yourself as well as the connection. But the divine started to show you some inconsistencies within that person, within the relationship, within that dynamic. And that's when you said, oh, hell no, I'm pouring into, you know, this this vessel with holes and I'm not getting anything in return. Therefore, you're, you're being emotionally abused. And so we have Estelle featuring Luke James, so easy. So life is becoming easier now that you are focusing on the self because you're no longer dealing with this person who kept you stuck and stagnant. I feel like a lot of you have moved on, just like I said, with this travel card. It says move for better results. So this person did and was you know, they were like that, that, that stick in your wheel. You can't move forward if there's a stick in your wheel. So this person was keeping you stuck and they was doing so intentionally. They was doing so because they was able to benefit from it for a while. They knew you was a star. They knew you were rare. They knew you had the ability to, to, to manifest that you were abundant, that you had opulence, that you knew how to, to grow the brand. Like you may have been very, um, successful, st stable. And so they was trying to keep you attached. It's like this, this codependent energy. They're, they're codependent on you. But I feel like with this, this um, card, 
of self wait wait, wait did, did i drop a card i feel like i dropped something oh no i didn't okay i'm bugging i'm, tri I'm tripping tripping but yeah, so this person definitely, I feel like, you know, they was trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. And when you moved away from that person, this is when you were able to focus more on your needs, your wants, your desires. And you realize just how much you were neglecting your needs, how much you were settling, you know, how much you weren't demanding or delegating, you know, within that relationship. And I feel like you're being spiritually guided and divinely protected because now you're focusing on the self and that's beautiful. So divine spirit, why is self loving me, myself and I and spiritually guided here for who's praying the Scorpio's downfall? This person's absolutely hating because they cannot penetrate your walls because you're now standing on your square firmly and you are, you know, you're, you're not falling for the old tricks. See this? Rejection is for your protection. So this person did reject you, you know, and this is why the divine is reminding you, look, you know, you, you cannot control the narrative with that stuck and stagnant. I feel like a lot of you were settling, you know, even though this person gave you so many opportunities to leave or so many reasons to leave that connection. I feel that's what that 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 stuck and stagnant you, that was a your your own belief system keeping you stuck there because many of you didn't even think that you were worthy or able to find something better you know and that's because they played on your self esteem it was emotional emotionally and psychologically manipulative they were gaslighters narcissists have the ability to to you know even though they're victimizing you they make you feel sorry for them and so you dealt for, with that for a while. And those were the, the signs, the synchronicities. Those were the downloads, the transmissions a lot of you were missing initially. This person was hidden in plain sight. They was a Judas. They was gossiping. They was lying. They was, you know, stealing from you. And that's why the divine is telling you, like, this person is still conjuring up some sort of plan. And this is what you all did. You stopped, looked, you listened, you paid attention. You started to find those feathers. You started to notice those beautiful animal totems. You started to notice those number synchronicities. You started to hear clairaudient messages. You started to feel those sensations within your own body to let you know that your angels are around you. You started to get downloads through dreams. You started to receive those telepathic messages. Things started to come to you, flow to you. And this is why you were able to move forward, to move onward, upward. You have um, undercover here by Tiana Taylor. So this person was undercover. There was a sneak. There was a shapeshifter. There was a liar. There was a deceiver. There was the devil. The devil is a liar. He's a manipulator. He's a mastermind with that shit. He knows how to, you know, to, to hide in plain sight. And this person, you know, definitely was um, an undercover for some of y'all. There was an undercover um, you know, when they say undercover or down low, maybe this is for some of you feminines, you may have found out, you know, who you were dealing with may be um, a homosexual. They may be gay. They may be bisexual. They may be, you know, they might have some interest in same sex, in other words. But you're having the sweetest redemption, you know, song, you know. So let's see. Why is redemption song or redemption? I keep saying redemption song. I'm thinking of Bob Marley. Okay, thank you, spirit. Maybe this person chiefs a lot of green. So we have uh, selenite, healing stone. See that? So that's what you all did. When you heal thyself, you begin to love thyself. When you love thyself, you begin to know your worth. You know thyself. And that's what you all did. You took the appropriate steps of healing thyself, loving thyself, and now you know thyself. And that's the redemption. The sweetest joy is when you can, you can leave a situation which had you broken initially and you leave it and you leave it whole. You leave it stronger. You leave that connection wiser and knowing who you are. And so you was dealing with someone who was an undercover liar, sneak, snake. This is someone who was a shapeshifter, Judas, someone who's evil, who's manipulative, someone who plotted, planned, schemed, tried to take you down, tried to destroy you. I feel like you healed from that betrayal. You healed from someone deceiving you. You healed from someone abandoning you.
and be thankful. You got the attitude of gratitude. I feel like a lot of you are very humbled, very appreciative to your angels and your guides for getting you through that. Let's get a couple of oracle messages from our beloved. Um, and let's start off with Halloween because we are quickly approaching our season, Scorpios. October, November is rolling around. It's amazing. It's crazy how fast this year went by. It's crazy. So divine spirit. And I'm using the Halloween Oracle deck. Tap into the energy. See what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios. Let me do it on my leg because it's a little loud. And I do get a couple of messages here and there from people who say that the shuffling annoys them. And I apologize. But what you want me to do? <laughs> what can I do about that? You want me to shuffle the cards or no? Like, have to shuffle the cards to get a clear message, beloveds. You don't have to complain about everything. Like, is your ears going to fall off? I mean, goodness. Some people be super sensitive and they just want you to hold their hand through tarot reads. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be funny, but it's just, it just be funny how people, like, for instance, you know, um, with the, the, the detector, the fire alarm. You know, I wanted to put your message out, you know, I mean, I could have waited, but I really felt, you know, called to put your message out. And I even left a little disclaimer, you know, I even mentioned it in the video. Look, I'm sorry for the noise. And, and people still found it necessary to leave comments speaking about the things that I already mentioned. I even pinned a comment right before, you know, like, it's like, I don't know what you want. I'm sorry, you know. So we have on the bottom of the deck, vampire, emotional intelligence. And didn't I say that? <laughs> you guys have mastered, you know, how to, your own emotions. This is what you have. You're no longer allowing others to pull, you know, your triggers. You're no longer allowing anyone. And then we have apple, risk and reward. So someone bit into forbidden fruit. And that's, ac you know, actually why, you know, they're now sitting here feeling perturbed and disturbed because you're focusing on you but you were dealing with someone who lacked emotional intelligence but I feel like you also gained you know some sort of this is like self-mastery when you can you know control your own emotions and not let anyone else trigger them I feel like you're absolutely um in a position of power but you was dealing also with uh this this energy vampire this is someone that tries to trigger you, tries to push your buttons. And I feel like this person will stop at nothing because they want to bring war to you. They want to bring drama because they don't want you to just be sitting around worrying about yourself. They want you to be focusing on them still. And I feel like you ain't, you, you're ain't, you not budging. And so they're going to try to come in and they're going to try to become a nuisance, annoying. And we have um, Hill Street Soul Paradise. So a lot of you are just like living the life, you know, you're living the life, you're treating yourself. Some of y'all are going to be taking solar turn trips. Some of y'all are purch making big purchases. I heard, I was about to say purchases. They said big purchases. So some of y'all might be, you know, treating yourself to a new vehicle for your solar returns. And this person is sitting back watching, clocking, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely feel like there is also someone coming in that's going to have emotional intelligence and this person watches you they're very attracted to you i'm hearing i want to suck your blood so this <laughs> this person definitely is um someone who's going to want to um nurture this connection and and, and give you the love that you deserve you know what i'm saying but i do feel like this there's like this person watches you a lot at night whoever this person is that's coming in and we got um, we got Craig Mack, Notorious B.I.G., L.O. Cool J, Busta Rhymes, Flavor in Your Ear. So some of y'all are going to hear some news. Somebody's going to call you. There's going to be some sort of message, some, some sort of communication. So Divine Spirit 11 Light. Let's get one message from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. Let me get one more there we go so cut this deck and the bottom of the deck is your message and we have S sky father trust in the unknown see that and that goes along with pay attention god is trying to tell you something 
Sorry about that noise. So pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. So Sky Father, trust in the unknown. So trust in the synchronicities. Trust in those number synchronicities. Trust in the fact that you're finding feathers. There is some communication because I do feel with this eagle here, the eagle does represent scorpionic energy. You know, so you all were receiving downloads, transmissions, divine intervention. And I feel like there is communication coming also. Someone may be communicating to you. And we have shield maiden, make plans and focus. So what was I telling you earlier about planning, preparing, strategizing, especially with make your next move your best move. So you have to be mindful because it does look like she's going to war. So this person that, you know, you was dealing with in the past, this person is trying to conjure up plans to take you to war and I feel like you're going to have to be prepared you're going to have to be prepared you're going to have to be able to you know what I'm saying like this is like the art of war and the art of war is a strategy it's about how to overtake or how to um how to defeat I should say your opponents same as the game of chess you have to be able to see the moves four five six steps ahead not only for yourself but also for your opponent so you have to be able to determine or discern what they're going to do. And so for all of you, the divine telling you, pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. He's preparing you, equipping you with the, the forewarning, the warning shot, shot, pow, pow, that someone is, you know, conjuring up some plans. And remember, you already had the Judas. You already had the wear your protective amulets. The Judas, you already know that folks is lying on you, gossiping, trying to defame your character, spewing a lot of lies. And I feel like, you know, the divine is telling you that it's necessary to block these individuals because they're only coming in because these are people who want to win at all costs. This isn't someone that really wants to come in and, you know, reconcile. This is somebody who just feels really frustrated, really upset. That you beat them at their own game. Whatever they left you for didn't work out. They want to come back. You ain't, you're not accepting them back. So now they're mad. Look at this. The fortune on the bottom of the deck. The wheel of fortune. So you all are receiving some sort of um, wish fulfillment as I said. And it's because you completed a cycle. Now there's expansion. Things are opening up for you. Opulence. Success. Prosperity. Abundance. Happiness. Joy. Love. New opportunities. The wheel is turning in your favor now. And remember, I was speaking of this person putting a stick in your wheel, trying to prevent you from moving forward. And now we have this um, fortune card, the wheel of fortune. So now that you having this success, this person's trying to come back and keep you stuck and stagnant. And with, you know, flavor in your ear, I feel like this person is just going to be talking a whole lot of shit. You know, they're just going to be talking because... They have lips because remember, words are spells, spells bound. So whatever this person is speaking into the ethers, your angels, your guides know. So they're telling you to pay attention to actions, pay attention to your surroundings. Don't pay attention to people's words because their words don't mean nothing. We already see they're a Judas. We already see that they're lying. They're deceptive. They're sneaky. They're conniving. So let's tap into them. Let's get some, get some messages for Scorpios. Uh, spirit of love and light. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Divine spirit of love and light. Definitely somebody who was trying to treat you like an option. I see that. You know, and I always see a face. I always see the eye right there and the nose. So this person definitely, you know, met their shadow side. Um, but we have the king of swords. So this is someone who's very biting with their words, very... You know, you definitely cut that energy off because you saw something clear as day, you know, and I see this queen of swords here. So you had the queen and the, so you match their energy. So when they started coming and talking all reckless to you, you finally stood in your power and you talk reckless right on back. And that's for masculine or feminine. You match their energy. So they came at you on some low vibrational shit. You was like, oh, I could take it there. Oh, you want to go there? I, I t <laughs> you know, and that's why the divine is telling me, look. Don't don't let nobody come in and, and toy with your emotions, emotional intelligence. So being the water sign, being the, the one that rules emotion, you have to be in emotional equilibrium. Let them come to you. Let, let them rise to your energy. You know, let them vibrate higher or let them fall to the wayside where they belong. But you got the eight of discs. So many of you have been working really hard. 
and with that alchemist energy that's a that's definitely like a proactive energy like i said creating co-creating and we have candy rain so there's going to be some sweet news coming in and a card just fell out so let's see what that is and we have the eight of swords so there is some communication coming in and i that eight of swords you know this is uh, a message you know someone is you know it looks like he's coming and delivering a message and with the red, he's wearing red. Red is the color of passion. It's the color of love. It's the color of the root chakra. So that could be a message from family. It could be a message from someone you may have a family with. You know, it could be a message pertaining money, finances, your career, good news. Like I said, candy rain, some happy news. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's tap into it. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why divine spirit? Why is this treat yourself? You deserve it. So we have the five of cups. See that? So this is someone who thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. And a lot of you were sitting there crying, sad with this turn this frown upside down. And then you have the queen, um, the page of swords. Somebody studying you from a distance watching. So you definitely was saddened and, and feeling disappointment, abandoned, left out in the cold because someone was pursuing something else. They may have never been honest about what they were pursuing or what they were doing, but I feel intuitively you knew. And I feel like for a lot of you, you were waiting around for this person to come around. They was in and out, flighty, impulsive. But I feel like you all focused on, you know, taking care of you. That's why you have treat yourself. Mama Oshun taught you to love yourself, taught you to nurture yourself, taught you to heal and protect yourself, your energy. Someone is learning you. Someone is spying on you, watching you. You could have been dealing with someone who was very immature. This is someone who's studying you, as I said, because they're sitting around and, you know, it's like they're taking notes. You see how she's observing and then she's writing in her journal. And that's what the divine was telling you to do also is pay attention. So I feel like for a lot of you, you all may have been really kind of like assessing a situation more closely, you know, paying attention to this person. And you started to take, you know, mental notes of someone's actions, of their behavior. But you never felt fulfilled with this energy. You always felt like this person was giving their time and energy to others. I do feel like there was a lot of biting words, but there was also disappointment and pain. This was someone that you gave the keys to your heart. And they didn't treat it right. They didn't handle you right. But this, this page of swords is alluding to the fact that, you know, you may have been obsessing or stalking this person or trying to find clues, trying to find some sort of you know answers as to what was going on behind the scenes um because i do feel like you know with this where your attention goes energy flows and i was saying that earlier that some of y'all was like kind of obsessively thinking about this connection and trying to work hard on repairing it but it was ir irreparable you know and um so this could have been you initially in the beginning when things were unfolding and it's because you love them you know look at the green that speaks to the heart chakra. So you were very emotionally, um, you know, invested in this connection, obviously. But the divine was telling you, like, the, God is trying to tell you something. You don't have to, to stalk. You don't have to go looking for things because everything that you were seeking, it was already hidden in plain sight. So I feel like you discovered exactly that. You discovered what was hidden. You know, you discovered what was going on. Some truths may have come out. You discovered something. You found some proof somewhere. So why is pay attention? God is trying to tell you something. I am an alchemist where your attention goes. Energy flows here. Pardon all the banging. That's my son. So these two cards flipped over. So we have the page of wands and the four of swords. So you absolutely have someone. Now, remember, I was telling you initially, like that person studying you, you know, so they're studying you, taking notes. They know you're emotional being, so they're trying to come in with some new information. I also feel like, you know, th this is your energy of healing. You know what I'm saying? Taking action also. You know, releasing what isn't serving your greatest good. Getting rid of, you know, of the belief systems, the ideologies. I see this, 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 um, this broom and I see a mop. I see a dustpan. So I feel like you, you cleaned your own mind. You know, you, you, you freed your dome 
of the manipulation, the emotional manipulation, psychological manipulation, whatever it was this person was telling you, whatever it was, whatever thoughts, whatever obsessive thoughts, I feel like you started to um, release that and you started to focus on the healing because the Four of Swords is all about healing. You know, it's all about, you know, going into emotional withdrawal and working on yourself, very similar to the alchemist, to the uh, star energy, you know, that star is working on herself by herself, for herself, and she's balancing her emotions, finding emotional equilibrium after dealing with someone that was emotionally retarded, you know, but this person, um, you started to focus more on the self, the healing started to focus more on, you know, observing the situation, not from a victim standpoint, but also um, just from a standpoint of, okay, I understand, you know, what I did wrong. Because, it, you know, the alchemist, the hermit, that, that energy, you know, of, you know, grounding yourself, you do a lot of internal work. And there's a lot of self-discovery in that process. So I feel like that's what this Four of Swords also represents. And remember with the healing, you know, the Selenite Healing Stone, you have to heal that self in order to love that self. And we see there's a whole lot of loving you. You're loving yourself. So you obviously healed from the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords speaks to you healing and no longer being a victim from that circumstance. See that? The sun. You, you, you started to see things very clearly. And we have... Um, Jill Scott better at home so the sun the sun card and mama bear things started to get better in your home environment when you moved away from that succubus incubus energy or that uh, energy vampire and you set your healthy boundaries she said better at home things are better at home and it's because you moved away you may have physically moved away or you just removed this person from your energy you stopped caring as much you stopped giving as much and you started to focus on yourself and on your children but things are brighter happier more vibrant this also speaks to love self-love happiness joy you see there's three entities here energies so i feel like you have three significant ancestors spirit guides deities that have been helping you and protecting you providing for you this wisdom this truth this clarity the sun represents truth because it's illumination i feel like this person is also seeing you seeing the truth of who you were seeing the truth that you were a fabulous mother woman wife husband father that you were the sun in their life that you provided, like I said, that the life force, you brought a lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of vibrance into the environment, into the home. You made the house a home. They felt protected and loved and nurtured by you. Some of them miss the way that you cook, miss the way that you smell, miss the way that you speak, miss having conversations. They miss you. And I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, um, you know that that's not enough because what they did to you in the past is was enough for you to see this person for who they were you know and they were you know they were like the enemy they were a snake you know because you 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 didn't change anything about yourself you just took your power back from this mofo but you've always been that person and this person definitely is receiving some sort of grand epiphany but I feel like better days are ahead for you, Scorpios, with that sun card. There's a lot of, um, I'm hearing opulence. Look at that. Look at this. Can't make this up. You have the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment is here. So this person is recognizing you are wish fulfillment. You're, they're also, the nine of cups to me also speaks to self-love, selfishness, being selfish, caring for you first and foremost. And when you care for yourself, this is what happens. Things blossom. Things flourish in your life. The star is here also. So this person now sees you as a star. You were able to shine brighter in this person's absence. Because remember, they was trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. This person was dimming your light. And we have the song Fire Squad by J. Cole. So the, a lot of fire reference. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign. But I feel like this person is on fire. I feel like you on fire with whatever you're doing. There's strong wish fulfillment here. And that's why the divine is telling you, pay attention. God's trying to tell you something because something's coming in for you. And I feel like with this three of this is something that you've been working for. 
something you've been working on, something you've been manifesting, honing, you've been mastering a skill, and I feel like you're being more selfish, and it's and, and you found balance, you found alignment, clarity, truth. Things are flowing to you. There's communication also coming in. Divine Spirit. Okay. And so we have the Eight of Discs here. So this is the hard work. Your hard work is paying off. The redemption, the sweetest joy, is not focusing on the problem, but on the solution. So instead of focusing on, you know, and, and, and obsessing over this connection, this person, what they were doing, how they were doing it, who they were doing it with, where they were doing it, you started to focus on mastering some skill, on healing yourself, loving yourself, and focusing on you, your babies, your household, on growing your brand, on expansion, and now there's this, this sense that now all that you've put into this spiritual journey, this process of healing, is now starting to come back to you tenfold. The Queen of Wands is here. So like I said, very attractive energy. You know, this is an energy of beauty. This is an energy, and remember, fire, fire squad. So yeah, this could speak to you just, you know, going after what you want, being very, very um, fearless, standing in your power. You know, taking action, being busy. This is keeping your eyes on the prize. I definitely feel like you've been working on yourself tremendously. And it's, it's shown. It's showing. It's, it's, it's definitely showing here. So let's see what we have for the... Um, we're going to clarify these messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. So we got the Ace of Wands here. It's a brand new beginning, baby. So you on that new, new, you doing new things, new things, baby. You got this Knight of Cups here. So emotional manipulation. This also could speak to someone wanting to offer love and apology even, you know, maybe for the way that they behave. But remember, you cannot trust a Judas's words. This is a lot of burdens, struggles, but you've become wiser because of it all. The owl represents wisdom, it represents transformation, it represents change. And I feel like a lot of you have transformed, you've changed, you've taken your power back, you've turned your pain into power, and you now can see things so clearly. You're no longer confused. This, this person has six eyes, you know. So, you know, that's what I was saying earlier about, you know, not seeing things with your two eyes because the divine was saying, pay attention. So when you're looking with your two eyes, you're going to miss it every time. You got to look with your first eye. You got to speak energy, you know. And so with this king of swords, I feel like you learn to uh, cut out the unnecessary fat in your life. The cancerous leeches, the energy vampires. And that's bringing emotional fulfillment and contentment and joy and happiness. We got Jill Scott playing So Gone. So now, you know, you're you're able to remove yourself from you know anything that does not serve your highest good because you're super protective of yourself now and so we have this knight of swords here so this knight of swords they may have said some things you know this is someone who was probably talking you in circles you know just saying things just to hold you you know to keep you stuck this person brought a lot of sadness a lot of you know pain into your life cause you to question yourself but I feel like you're gone you're 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 removed from the situation emotionally and I feel like you know you've learned that this person was very um, manipulative was a gaslighter but I also feel like you're manifesting something new because we're about to clarify pay attention God is trying to tell you something I'm an alchemist I create the potions and elixirs to life where your attention goes, energy flows, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So with this Magician card, I feel like you realized your power. And you realized that you had to take your power back from this person who was able to capitalize off it for a long time. Capitalize on the fact that you were so nurturing, caring, that you gave them the benefit of the doubt, that you didn't question them. And that was because you loved them. You was dealing with someone who was overbearing, controlling, you know, and they affected your finances. They definitely were someone who was trying to be, 
you know, a leader, you know, they, they, they was fake with the leadership because everything they did was they were leading, you know, the pack with only their own investments in mind. So it was about how they could expand, how they could grow. It, it wasn't about the whole, you know, and I feel like this was a very angry, you know, angry person, whether this is feminine or masculine, but they definitely was manipulative for a very long time until you took your power back until you started to pay closer attention to what was going on and you discovered that i can change this situation i could change my reality so why is pay, uh, pay attention here why is uh the page of wands thank you spirit and we have the king of cups emotional manipulation but i also feel like um there was uh also you know the fact that you you know you took your power back because as I said, self-mastery is when you control your own emotions. So whatever this person was saying to you, you know, I feel like you took into, um, you know, consideration a lot of the things that were going on in the past. And I feel like you realized that you had to create space between you and that person in order to see things clearly because they did play a lot of um, games which had you very confused. You know, you see all these clouds around that king of, of cups. And so they knew how to play on your emotions with their communication. They knew how to make things sound real exciting, real good, you know. But it was all manipulation. And I feel like you started to pick up on that fact. And you stopped allowing this person to control your emotions. And you took control. But you also removed yourself. You moved away from that energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. So you may have absolutely, you know, detached, disconnected, and you went into that healing. Remember, I was speaking, and I even used the hermit. I said as the alchemist, you know, even, you know, the hermit, when you ground yourself, I don't know if I said it, but when I said ground yourself, you have to go into isolation. It's necessary for you to, you know, be able to do the internal work. You can't do that when there's noise all around you, when there's distraction all around you. So a lot of you, you know, you discovered some truths. This fire represents, you know, represents the energy of, um, of the person you could have been dealing with but i also feel it gives off light so that's truth that's clarity that's an epiphany you know and there's even stars on this card as well so you you definitely um had a grand epiphany but i feel like you also realized uh your worth and value you did a lot of internal work and you've learned to balance your emotions and not allow someone to be able to puppeteer your life or to trigger you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And as you do that, look what happens. You have this brand new beginning. He's carrying that staff. So you, you see things clearly. See that? Look at that. The sun is right behind it. So there's truth, there's clarity, there's understanding, there's an epiphany, and there's great healing. But there's also happiness here. You know, you realize that this person was not the end or be all of you. That you absolutely could survive this this connection, this person's you know, attempts to destroy you and just, you know, focus on the self, self-love. And I feel like you have new love coming in, someone that's absolutely going to appreciate you. It's going to, you know, honor you. I feel like you discovered what you needed also, what you deserved, because you brought that to the table. You know, so um, I never clarified. I just pulled those out of the bottom, my bad. So we have find a way, tribe core quest. So someone's, you know, definitely you all were finding a way. You know, this this is the hermit, so there's change. So now you're gonna find a way to get past it, and that's what you did. You found a way to get past that pain because you started to, you know, take onus and accountability. When you are a victim, you'll stay a victim, which means you'll always blame the other person. But when you take onus and accountability, and responsibility for your part trust and believe that there's healing in that and that's exactly what you did the judgment just flew up and out so you are you know you you've received judgment for doing this that's what i was saying a lot of blessings are coming in and it's it's underneath pay attention god is trying to tell you something so the divine was telling you you were being stubborn you was trying to control the situation you see that cow or that bull breaking through from the the clouds 
Some of y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign, also ram. I'm picking up ram energies. So a lot of you were definitely like, you know, being stubborn, holding on. But I feel like now you know to make a judgment call about this situation. And you're looking at yourselves not as victims anymore. I feel like this person absolutely came into your life to trigger you, to teach you how to love yourselves better, to treat you how to demand what you desire, what you deserve, to also set healthy boundaries with people and to never settle. They're all coming out of these these makeshift graves so you were doing a lot of shadow work and this person did come in to mirror you remember in the beginning that card that said are they a mirror reflection of you and that's what that person was they came in to teach you something about yourselves karma dharma justice is here someone that recognizes your beauty when it's too late is receiving karma for the way that they've treated you now you are doing you. You're taking care of yourself. I feel like things are being handled fairly and justly for you all. And I feel like someone else, whoever these individuals were, whether they were lovers, family, a mother, a friend, whoever was mistreating you or abusing your love, your kindness, karma is definitely going to find them. They're going to receive karma. Some of them may already be receiving karma, but they're noticing a little too late that you are wish fulfillment. And I feel like this also could be speaking to, you know, the demise of a family dynamic or marriage, the dissolution of that marriage. And we have here. Um, we got Talib Kweli and Z Trip getting to the money. So what was I saying about somebody, you know, somebody was just looking at you as a security blanket. So they are trying to get to the money and you see this emperor here. So this was someone who was very emotionally manipulative, con controlling, conniving, very overbearing. And I feel like they used manipulation tactics to control, to make things work in their favor. This is a very angry person. And this is someone who tries to win at all costs. And I feel like they lost because you had karma on you had, you know, you had your angels and ancestors protecting you from that energy. And they ultimately told you to set a boundary with that person. Why is I don't fuck with you, mama bear travel and the nine of cups here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And I did say, you know, I was picking up with this bull, you know, I, I was feeling like that looked very much like the ram, the Aries. So you're going to have to make a judgment call about someone trying to come back. And I feel like this person is not coming back with good intentions. See that? Look at this. You got the nine of cups uh, being clarified by the nine of pentacles. So this is why they're coming back. And remember, it says the name of the song is um, Get the Money. And it's by Talib Kweli and Z Trip. So this person sees that you're getting the money. And it's because you stopped focusing on them and you focused on yourself. This is independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. This is you being kicked out in the cold abandoned, mistreated, but learning to, you know, pick yourself up from your bootstraps. This is you planting seeds and them growing. Remember, you had the eight of discs come out. So there is success. There's opulence. There's abundance. There's expansion. There's growing of a brand. You know, the seeds that you've planted are bearing fruit now. So things are blossoming for you. See that? There goes the wheel. Try to put this stick in between my wheels, but they can't stop my motivation. Nothing with that's what that. Yes. So this is wheel, the wheel of fortune. Remember, I used the analogy of someone putting a stick in your wheel. They was trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. And it's because they did see your star quality. They didn't want you to recognize it, though. They didn't want you to know that you was a whole dime piece, that you was a whole king out here. Now they're seeing you. Receive some recognition, some rewards. Some of y'all, your businesses are flourishing. The things they was telling you you couldn't do, you're doing. Not only are you doing it, you're doing more than you ever imagined. And it's because you started to focus on yourself, your dreams, your desires. You started to plant seeds within your own self. And you were spiritually guided to do so. This person rejecting you was a blessing because you stopped focusing on them and that nasty, toxic, disgusting relationship and focused on the self. Healing thyself, loving thyself, and now you know thyself, and now there's wish fulfillment. Now the karmic cycles, now those completions are done. It's done. 
You've completed a cycle. Now there's wish fulfillment coming in. Now there's abundance. Now there's success. Wish fulfillment. This is amazing. Why is this star card here for Scorpios? Why is... Who is this person hating and praying on Scorpio's downfall? Why is self-loving? Thank you, spirit. See that? The Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who now wants to come in under this demise of, I want to work together. I want to work with you. But the divine is also saying, you brought yourself to this point. Your hard work is paying off. This person didn't believe in your abilities. You put in all that hard work. But I also feel like the divine is saying that you're going to attract someone who's going to invest just as much as you are willing to invest. This is someone coming in to bliss you, to give to you, to nurture the connection because they see your star qualities. They see you as, you know, as wish fulfillment. And you got the five of swords. So this five of swords, this is someone who was, you know, thought they was trying to, you know, they was winning at trying to win at all costs, trying to be very deceptive, very conniving, very manipulative with the way that they communicated, you know, very deceptive, dishonest, cold and callous. And they was trying to keep look at that. Remember the stuck and stagnant and you see this man being, you know, captured by these two cops. So it's like they was trying to keep you bound to them. And we see the chariot. You moved away from that energy. And you cut them off. You freed yourself from that energy also because you saw the truth. Why is the redemption song, the eight of discs here, choose wisely. We got the ten of swords. So I said the seven of swords was going to come out, but the ten of swords came out. So this ten of swords is speaking to exactly uh, what this person did or attempted to do. Yes, they killed you, but they didn't, they didn't destroy you. You can't kill good energy. You can't kill energy at all. So this person tried to kill you, but the energy that they put into destroying you and taking you down, you absolutely transmuted that shit and you are enjoying success and happiness as this empress. Remember, I mentioned the empress in the beginning because of this message here. And this could go for ma masculine also, the empress energy, the emperor energy. You got 426. Remember, I said in the beginning that that made me think initially of the empress. This person is very perturbed because they didn't choose wisely. They backstabbed, manipulated, connived their way into a situation that was not what they thought it was going to be. And because you took the appropriate steps to heal, you have evolved into this divine feminine, wiser, stronger, more beautiful, attractive. This is the epitome of Oshun, self-loving, master manifester, powerful, strong. Look what's underneath that. These all flew out. You took your power back because you started to see the signs, synchronicities that the divine is giving you. I also feel like someone else is coming in that notices your beauty. Look how he's looking back at the empress like, damn. I feel you're also going to receive some sort of message. Someone's coming in new, willing to invest, willing to provide, you know, this happy house, happy spouse energy. And the high priestess, you may know that already. You are the divine feminine. So all that this person thought that they was doing to manipulate the situation, you know, remember undercover, they thought all their, their, you know, actions was undercover, but you was receiving divine intervention. You got sky father, you got pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. You have spiritually guided, divinely protected. You was receiving all type of signs. The sun came out. But this person really backstabbed you, betrayed you, plotted, schemed to take you out. But you are the empress. So how do you do that to the empress? They didn't realize your value, your worth until it's too go until it was gone. And look how the empress is um, showcased on this card. She's depicted as naked, just like the star would be. So you're, 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 you've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. And you've mastered your own emotions. Look how these emotions are, you know streaming down like waterfalls so when you master yourself you become that empress that emperor energy but you're very fully capable of seeing what's hidden what's what was hidden because you are high priestess this is scorpionic energy to me because that's a very clairvoyant energy and there goes this three of swords see that this person who broke your heart who betrayed you deceived you who tried to take you out snuff you out they feel very foolish now they feel very foolish because they was plotting on the wrong one. You know, the one they was plotting on 
absolutely defeated them. And this was all a matter of divine, divine intervention, divine time. This was someone came into your life to teach you this lesson, this valuable lesson of self-love. Self-love is this message. And when you love yourself, you will see all that, you know, all that someone is doing. We have You Are Playing by Kirk Franklin. So you are beautiful. You are strong. You are loved. You are lovable Scorpios. And you will attract someone who's going to appreciate all of these tendencies. You have the Empress coming out. I called the Empress. That Seven of Swords didn't come out, but the Ten of Swords did. Which means that this person not only betrayed your trust time and time again, but they also, you know, not only were they deceptive, but they broke your heart. Because that Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords together equals the Ten. So this was someone who used, you know, who used lies and deception as a way to, to get over, who betrayed you, hurt you. And they broke your heart. And we did see that. It's here. So that seven and three, you know, brings out the ten. But I feel like the ten reduces to the ace. So you were able to cut yourself free from that. And now you're enjoying the sweet redemption because you are still the divine feminine, you know. And you have strength, your courage, you're courageous, you're powerful, you're strong, you're beautiful. And I feel like you're attracting someone who is going to uh, appreciate all of those characteristics, attributes. So this is beautiful. And we have you are. So this person's noticing you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are. And um, yeah, so with this high priestess, some of you definitely know someone's coming in. But this is your beloved reading, Scorpios. I hope that the message has resonated. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping into First Eye Visions. And if you are new, I hope that you stay a while. Um, please give the video a thumb up, you know, like, share, subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification. Um, but I do appreciate you all taking uh, almost two hours of your time out to listen to the reading. To all of my return soul family, soul members. You already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. Do not let any past person around you because they are only trying to come back to take you down. They want to bring war to you. They want to win at all costs. They don't have good intentions. They just see that you are thriving, that you're glowing, that you're coming into abundance and success and happiness. And they want to thrive off. They, they, they want to ride your coattail. But they wasn't down when you was riding the bus. Right. So thank you, beloveds, for tuning in and tapping in. Have a blessed day. Ashe.